It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. But it's not really bourbon. It's actually Irish whiskey. But Sarah, what is it? This is Redbreast Cast Strength 12 Year. Okay. It's a mouthful. Um, because? Because we are bringing this out today because tomorrow is World Whiskey Day. And that's whiskey without a knee. This one actually has a knee, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, so it's a it's a reason to celebrate, you know, global whiskey. And uh, yeah. so we thought we'd bust this out. You know what else is a reason to celebrate, Sarah, is this is our 501st <gasps> video. Uh, we didn't, when we filmed the 500th, we didn't realize it. So now 501. So we can also say it took us 500 videos before we reviewed something that was not an American whiskey. So That's this crazy. is groundbreaking. Groundbreaking stuff. I was going to say, strange that we chose to celebrate our 501st video with a not bourbon on its bourbon. Because it's bourbon night. Yeah, but it, for our 500th, it was. And you know, that's what I always find funny is that people are always like, asking, you know, well, when will you guys do scotch and Japanese whiskey and everything? I'm like, but it's, it's bourbon, bourbon night. night. No, but truthfully, like, that is bourbon is our first love. Um, yeah. But, you in know. And our favorite love. And our favorite. We've had this uh, before and we have enjoyed it. And in fact, I think it is, um, you know, what bourbon drinkers can get behind, largely in part because this is uh, aged in X bourbon casks along with X um, Oloroso, Oloroso sherry. sherry casks. Which, okay, for me, sherry is hit or miss. So I'm intrigued because it's an mm -hmm. Irish whiskey finished in the bourbon casks. Yeah, I like that. Finished in the sherry casks. We'll I'm a little less. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe it's a great combination. But pause for cork pop. Cork pop with an Irish accent. Okay, I like it. Uh, we're also, since it's, you know, a different type of whiskey, we decided to opt for our Copitas here today. Just so make everything a little bit different yeah, for today. That's what we'll be drinking out of. So this is made with a blend of malted and unmalted barley, and it's triple distilled in copper still. Okay. So that's something different. That is something different. Also something different, uh, if you've had the regular old red breast, is this is not just 80 proof, or I guess we gotta go by ABV because- 40%. Yeah, 40% because that's what, uh, if you are- It's World Whiskey Day, Chad. It's, it's World Whiskey Day. Well, tomorrow is World Whiskey Day. Um, if you're watching this on the day this came out. So yeah, this is not 40% ABV. This is actually 57.6 for our bourbon drinking audience. And for us, it's 115, 115.2 pro. Don't try to do math too quickly, Sarah. We're not, that's not our strong suit. Mm. So, you know, we could Ooh, we trap could the nose just... for a little while, but okay. I really want to get into it. So. I just, okay into it yeah different we're not we're not in we're not in america anymore i can Sarah. definitely tell that it's you know an irish whiskey from the nose but it's not super far off um like from the nose and, and the color it is a lot um what would you call that light golden yeah it's more goldenrod you know? than like a dark like, honey or sure, amber yeah i feel like with bourbon we tend to get more into the red rusty um ambery tones. It is very light. Get some fruit, uh, maybe some... Some light honey. Apricot, Speaking of honey. honey light yeah. honey. Nice little floral, but very that? soft. What is that fruit? Yeah, I'm with you on the fruit, but... I saw apricot. Like a really ripe... Could also be like cantaloupe. Peach or pear, mm. maybe. I see your... Okay, I see your cantaloupe. Like a crisp melon, you know, not super overpowering. Because sometimes, mm -hmm. like, peaches can get very syrupy, sweet, powerful True. notes. But I do recognize, you know, the vanilla that I also, you know, that's so synonymous with, with bourbon. Mm -hmm. For sure. In there as well. All okay. Right. Solancha. Mm. Ooh. Hey. More of that cantaloupe yeah. on the palate. Ooh, I like the spice that's coming on. Oh, I that's just nice. I a little tiny sip. That's nice. I got a bigger sip. Second sip Sarah here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice, just up front rush. It's, uh, it's got those honey and tea flavors coming at you, and then the finish is rolling in. Mm, more to a what? A. I think it's kind of got like a white pepper thing going on. I definitely get melon, honey, honeysuckle even, like yep. that light fragrant flower. Mm -hmm. Bright and crisp, it's very crisp. Yes. But warming on the finish, that's why I think it's kind of like a mm. white pepper. It's not as dark um, and spicy as a black pepper, it's yeah. just. Yeah. Rolls a little floral actually on the finish. That's what I think too. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, second sip for me. I like the amount of heat 
that it is bringing. I mean, it is 115 proof. But, but yeah, from I'm, the nose, it, it it kind of presented like it was going to be pretty soft and yeah. pretty floral, mm-hmm. pretty easy, you know, sweet, mellow. Yeah. And it does give more kick than what you're expecting, I mm-hmm. think. You know, I'm really not getting a lot of the sherry, though, and I actually like that. It's hard for me to pick it out from mm-hmm. everything else, which I yeah. think tells me that it was, you know really well monitored. Um, the sherry's not taking over, but for me, I can sometimes get like a, this is kind of gross, but like a burnt keratin, like if you ever caught a piece of hair on fire or anything, uh, with sherry, it kind of, like that smell, but in sure. a taste, which is not appetizing and nobody sure. wants that. And so I like that it's really not overpowering this at all. And it's not jumping out at me as someone who doesn't love that really strong sherry finish characteristic. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, let's actually, Put our hats on, and mm-hmm. I'm talking about our thinking hats. I'm talking about our Copita hats, and let it sit here for about 10 minutes, okay. and come back to it. And while we wait, of course, we want to tell you about WhiskeyAmbitions.com. It's our home on the internet where you can get these Copitas, either the It's Bourbonite or the Drink More Bourbon Copita, which you can have Irish whiskey, even Scotch in. You can have whatever you want. The in. glass accepts it. You can put it's, wine in it's there. It's fine. Too. We also have our uh, Glen Cairns, our rocks glasses, our water glasses. T-shirts, hoodies, uh, just more. Always coming soon. Of course, that's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash itsbourbonite, and you can get after the episode exclusives, patron-only co- patron only contest. That's not true yet. It's not true yet. Uh, patron-only podcast, and then also you get first crack at barrel picks, and we are ramping those up this year. There so go. gotta take care of our patrons. Let's let these uh, sit here for a little bit. Let it open up in the glass as it's trapped inside there. And we will be back after this. And we're back. Thanks for sticking around. All right, we've let this sit here for a little bit. Let's untrap that nose. Wow, I really, okay. Not to like hype our own, I mean it is our, it has, our logo on it, but this isn't our product. This is we didn't make it. A Glen Karen it's product. It's Glen Karen. And man, I like the nosing experience. I mean, some people experience. will even do the. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, who's in there? Hello. <laughs> yeah. It's my nose calling. <laughs> it's my nose. <laughs> no, I like it. I think it's a, a nice nose experience if you've got something where you really want to capture that nose. Like if I'm doing tasting notes or mm. just notes in general, I feel like that's a. It's a helpful tool. It is. If you I'm will. getting a little bit of brown sugar on the nose. You see, now. that's what I'm saying. There's a little bit of those brown sugar and um, vanilla notes that are peeking through. Mm-hmm. That's reminiscent of bourbon, and yeah. I'm liking that. I think what's been missing so far. We'll see if it showed up after it's kind of opened up in the glass. But the oak isn't really there, like no, like we get in a lot of a lot of bourbons. But I'm thinking that that's probably a product of the climate, right? Cuz the, the reason why we in the in the X casks, yeah. you know, um they are not newly charred. Let's Fair. See. That's a good point. Ooh. All of a sudden, apple. Yeah. Apple, apple peel. It is apple and cantaloupe. It's almost yeah. like a it's giving me very brunch. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have this at brunch, right? I so, think this would make a actually it would make a really good cocktail, but I don't think it's priced right for the cocktail. No, we'll we'll talk um, about the price here in a second. So the the cantaloupe note that you're getting is is that what you're thinking that citrus is coming from? It's less of a citrusy. Cuz there is a that, citrusy element like in there. A, what is it though? A muted melon. <laughs> muted melon, that's a band. Um <laughs> it could be a band. It could be. Everything's a band. Right? It's a blind melon cover band. <laughs> muted melon. Muted melon. And I, we are muted melon. I don't know why they're British. Why are they British? I don't know. And why are they covering blind melon? I'm um, getting that because I'm not getting like lemon, right? It just was cantaloupe. I don't know. Cantaloupe. I don't explain it. it All just... right, I buy it. It's like citrus with, with the 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 you know that white pepper that you're talking about, sort of fruity mixed in there. Yeah. 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 Because technically, I don't think a melon is a citrus. Yeah, that's why. To I be have. fair, <laughs> don't. Chew with your mouth, whatever, open. Drink, talk with my mouthful of like, whiskey. Yeah, it's like the same as food. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm really liking the finish. The spice really hangs around. Now it is, again, missing those barrel notes that we so love in a lot of our bourbon finishes, but I'm really appreciating, you know, despite not having that, the, the spice that's lingering on the finish. I mean, I guess there is oak there, but it's just a different experience of oak that yeah. two bourbon drinkers are used to. Yeah, I think the thing that I find that I'm most wanting, and again, this is just a result of being a mm. pretty, you know, what's the word? Staunch. 
yeah, bourbon drinker um, or American whiskey drinker. It's like on the finish is where I get the most sense that it is an Irish whiskey. Obviously it is, so that's appropriate. But that's where I'm missing those rich, you know, dark barrel flavors that tend to come with American whiskey. Uh -huh. um, it goes a little lighter and it ends on kind of an up note, yeah. if that makes any sense. Uh -huh. And I'm wanting it to end on that like down rich dark deep note um and so that's probably agreed what i would say is my least favorite part of it only because again i am so used to it being the other way agreed i still enjoy it a lot yes i i just had a revelation when i get in here a I, revelation I, I, <laughs> well i think actually i think it is he is reborn lemon because it's i got lemon. i got a hot toddy feeling hmm. there on the finish i was you know i was letting that sort of the spice start to die down and I was sort of like, ah, oh, hot toddy. Yeah. Um, which, you know, has lemon in it. Respectfully disagree. Sure. But hey, there's no wrong answers I like that in you're enjoying a good time with it, the finish. So. Yeah. And it went really, really quickly. It's very it did. It's easy to very drink. Very easy to drink. Very easy nice to drink. Nice and warm. Let's talk about price. Um, you can get it anywhere from usually around seventy to ninety dollars depending. Uh, so kind of averaging that, let's call it eighty. For a you know, barrel proof or cast strength Irish whiskey. We don't have a whole lot of comparative knowledge. So no. I guess we're going more back towards like bourbon. I'm thinking 115, uh, 1920 at 50, 55, $60. But you know, different. This is a finished product. I think the price for 80 bucks is worth it in our limited uh, Irish experience. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up recommend. Yeah, I think with this one, it is a little tougher for us to evaluate. I think I kind of think about it on two different two different ways. So one way is the way that I think about bourbons sometimes that are in this price range that, you know, we talk about this, like what boxes does it check? It's cash strength, right? It's 12 years old so that, you know, we're ticking price boxes that make it go bump it up just a little bit. Um, it's finished in another barrel so that adds to the cost and so, when I think about the price for it and I think about what it tastes like, it makes sense to me, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. based on, again, all the experience that we have with things, it feels like it's playing in the right price area. Now, completely separate of that, how do I feel about it? I would want to buy another bottle. My and girl. I think that then tells you that I feel that it's, it's worth need. it, right? Because yeah. I want to buy another bottle. Make it um, official. So I officially give Boom. it there a thumbs go. up. <laughs> On right before World Whiskey Day. Right before World Look Whiskey at you. Day. You're so cute. Yeah. You got your little thumbs ups. Yeah. There you go. Go tell all your friends. Don't tell. <laughs> don't tell your Scotch friends. But. Right. Maybe. Maybe a Scotch. Maybe one day. One day. Uh. When we go. Hey. When we get through all the bourbon and the rye, then then we'll we'll talk about Scotch. All right, well, hey, look, uh, if this is your first time joining us, we'd love to have you over here on the old team. You can click right up here to subscribe. There's suggestions of other videos right down here. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, happy World Whiskey Day. And until next time, drink more bourbon. Like, or off. Irish whiskey. Or whatever you want.